Today I'm going to show you the TTL operation in Nebula Graph. TTL is short for time to live. Literally, it is used to set the lifetime of data. As you have more and more data, it really matters to ensure all the data is valid. So you need TTL now. With TTL, you can limit the lifespan of data. Once the lifespan has elapsed, data will be filtered in queries and discarded in the next compaction. To use TTL, you need TTL column and TTL duration. Use the TTL column to specify which property to expand. The data type of the column must be integer or timestamp. The TTL duration is lifetime of the TTL. It is set in seconds. When the sum of the TTL column and the TTL duration is less than the current time, we consider the data as expired. Now let's try TTL together. We use the formula NBA space. We create a tag and set the TTL to 10 seconds for its property A. Then we insert a vertex 404. Fetch all the properties on vertex 404. We can see the return results as below. Now we refetch and nothing is returned. This indicates 10 seconds has passed and the data is expired. After all, 404 can be found anyway. Here comes the end of this episode. For more information about TTL, please refer to the document link in this video description. If you are interested in TTL implementation, please refer to our TTL post. We have posted the link for you in the comment area. If you encounter any problems during the operation, welcome to ask us on the official form. If you like this video, please leave us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will be the first to know our content updates. If you like Nebula Graph, start us on GitHub. Thank you. Bye.